Hey everyone, so here I'm doing a question from a simple equation or I can say linear equation. This is very important question. So the question here is, a man traveled two-fifths of his journey by train, one-third by bus, one-fourth by car and the remaining three kilometer on foot. What is the length of his total journey? So this is what we have to find out, length of his total journey, this is a unknown to us. So whenever in the question we have to find out the unknown, we have to assume it as a variable. So here we are going to assume, let the total distance be, a total distance of the journey be a x kilometer. Okay? This will be our assumption here. So let's start solving. So I will say, let the total distance, let the total distance be x kilometer okay now this we have assumed now let's read the question once again what they have given a man traveled two-fifth of his journey so total journey distance is x kilometer yes so two-fifth will be nothing but two upon five of x so here I'll just uh, write down here by train how much he has traveled so by train he will go and travel two-fifth means two upon five of total journey which is x so this will be nothing but of means multiplication so 2 upon 5 multiplied by x which is nothing but 2x upon 5 okay so like that we're going to do for the others also and we have given one third by bus so i'm going to just say by bus he has traveled one third means one upon three x or into x which is nothing but x upon 3 okay and then and we have given one fourth by car so by car it will be one fourth means one upon 4 into x which is nothing but x upon 4 okay and the remaining distance by fee, uh, by the foot means 3 kilometer he has just uh, walked for 3 more kilometer so I'll just say by foot he went 3 kilometers more Okay. and we have given uh, like this will be total distance here 2x upon 5 x upon 3 x upon 4 and 3 kilometer if I add up I'll get the total distance but here in this question we have assumed total distance is nothing but x kilometer so if I write the equation it will be nothing but I'll just rewrite here so it will be okay I'll, I have to just erase them all so, I'm going to just write the equation directly. So, by the train, he has traveled by 2 fifth, right? So, it will be 2x upon 5 plus and by the bus, he traveled 1 third. So, it will be x upon 3 plus by car, he traveled 1 fourth. So, x upon 4 and the remaining distance is 3 kilometers. So, plus 3 will be equal to total distance. So, total distance is nothing but x kilometer. This will be equal to x. So, this will be a linear equation or a simple equation. So, we have to solve this and get the value of x. Now, we know that whenever we are solving a simple equation or the linear equation, we have to bring all the variables to one side and the constants to the other side. So, I am going to take this x to one side and the 3 to the other side. Okay? In that case, it will become 2x upon 5 uh, plus x upon 3 okay x upon 3 plus x upon 4 minus x is equal to 3 right now here to solve this i'll just write this x as a x upon 1 okay now to solve the left hand side we have to take the lcm of 5 3 and 4 so let's take the lcm of these three numbers so 5 3, 4 and 1. You can just ignore 1 or you can just write down. So here we'll get 5, 1's are 5 and then 3, 4 and the 1 will be as it is. And then we'll take 3 and the 1 uh, and then 1 and then 4 will get 1. Again 4. Yeah. So 1, 1 and then 1 and then 1. Just multiply them. So it will be uh, 5, 3's are 15 and 15, 4's are 60. So the LCM will be 60 here. Right. So we got the LCM 60. So let me write down this. So here I'm going to take. Okay. I'll just write down 60 here. Okay. This will be 60. 
all right now with 5 i have to change the denominator test right so with 5 what i have to multiply to get 60 it will be 12 so i have to multiply here 12 in the numerator and also in denominator so uh, here it will become 12 to the 24 so 24 x so 12 into 5 will be 60 we have taken 60 already here now with 3 how much i have to multiply i have to multiply 20 here yes so in so to multiply 20 in the numerator also so in the denominator we got 60 so in the numerator 20 into x will be 20 x so plus 20 x and then here with 4 I have to multiply 15 so multiply 15 both in the numerator and denominator will get here plus 15 X and with 1 we have to obviously multiply 60 right 60 in the numerator and in the denominator so we'll get minus 60 is equal to minus 3 sorry I forgot to put minus sign here when you transpose 3 to other side it will become minus 3 now we have to solve the numerator so 24 plus 20 will be uh, 44 and then 44 plus 15 will gonna give us uh, 59 okay 59 X minus 60 X okay so and I'll just write right here on other side so this will be equal to so when we add up we'll get 59 so 59 X minus 60 X upon 60 is equal to minus 3 okay okay now 59 min 59 x minus 60 x is nothing but minus 1 x so this is minus 1 x upon 60 is equal to minus 3 now this minus sign you can just cancel this because it's present on both the side or you can transpose minus 1 to other side in either way the minus sign will get cancelled and the 60 which is in denominator when I transpose to other side uh, it will gonna become in it will gonna come in multiplication the okay, division becomes multiplication so from here x is equal to 3 into 60 so 3 into 60 is nothing but 180 so the answer will be 180 kilometer so this will be the total distance traveled by the man so that's it I hope it's clear so in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below and thank you so much for watching